Hey there and welcome to another video from Garage Door Guidance. In today's video, I wanted to show you guys how to change a bad sensor on your garage door opener. Uh, the one I'm working with in particular today is a LiftMaster belt drive. And so this is the sensor that I'm working with. Uh, this is the receiving side. Uh, this is the one that shines green. As you can see, it's kind of acting up here. They got some paint all over the place and I just wanted to do a video on how to replace it if you have a faulty one. So all you need to do this is uh, obviously a new sensor, some wire snips and some electrical tape or just those little plastic connectors if you prefer not to use the tape. And you can find this sensor on Amazon. They usually sell them in a pair. So you'll have both the uh, sending signal and the receiving signal. So I usually don't turn the garage door opener off. So to start off, what I like to do, I uh, just snip one end here. In this case, I'm just gonna reuse the old wire and we're just gonna remove this entire bracket completely. You don't have to do that. You can just, uh, you can just unscrew this little nut here and strictly replace the sensor. As you can see, that one's really um, painted over. So this is the one I've got, and so you'll see it's all nice and shiny and new. Uh, what I'm going to do is completely remove mine. It takes a little force, but you just pop those right off. So we're just gonna start with opening these wires up on this side. So we split them. I usually do about maybe half inch of wire showing. And we'll go ahead and split the new sensor wire here. Do the same thing, get about a half inch. Nice and easy like. So I got my black wire and I'm connecting to the black. So I like to just kind of twist them together. Like I said, if you have those plastic wire nuts, uh, those work fabulously as well. I'm just used to the tape. And we're gonna go ahead and do the white. So now that they're connected, I always like to split them up so they don't make contact because that will cause some issues. I'll go ahead and tape mine up. If you use the wire nuts, you don't have to do this step, obviously. Connections are closed off. So we don't even have to mount this sensor uh, to test to see if it works. I'm just gonna point it in that direction. Hold it steady. No flickering or anything like that. Perfect, that's exactly what I was looking for. And so at this point, all we gotta do is clip it back on. So we usually just put it, put it up against the railing like that and just push. You kinda wanna push at the same time, keeping it up against that rail here so that it doesn't come off and it just clips right on. If you need to, you can adjust it with this little butterfly nut here. That is how to change a garage door opener sensor. Again, they are usually sold in sets. Um, I'll link that down in the description below if you guys did need to pick up a set. So that process is pretty much the same with uh, all the garage door openers. You just wanna match the two wires, you wanna splice them, tape them up, uh, use your wire nuts. Uh, there's all sorts of connectors nowadays and that's pretty much it in terms of changing a bad garage door sensor. So you wanna make sure those lights are 100% solid, not flashing or flickering in any way. Um, not even the slightest flicker, otherwise it won't close for you. And thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that like button if this did help and subscribe to the channel. Thanks so much, have an awesome day.